Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, this is going to be a slightly happier and more upbeat video than the last one. Um, I do apologise if it made you sad, um, but it's a bit of a sad thing to talk about. Anyway, I'm going to talk in this video about live action role playing. Now LARP, as it's known, is not something that I do. But unlike a lot of people in HEMA, I don't really have an issue with LARP. A lot of people seem to though, and I'm not really sure why. If you go back two decades to kind of the very early days of the modern HEMA renaissance, people were at a, a really, I don't know, they, were, they went to great lengths to make it very clear that what they were doing wasn't LARP, this is very different indeed. And that's kind of carried through to today, that, that people in historical European martial arts seem to think that live action role playing is this kind of embarrassing cousin that, that they don't really want to talk about. And I'd like to suggest that perhaps that shouldn't be the case. The fact is, if you're interested in reenactment, or you're interested in live action role playing, or you're interested in historical fencing, or whatever it is, the chances are you're doing that because you think swords are awesome. And let's face it, they are. They're pretty fantastic. And what your chosen hobby does is it allows you to play with swords. That's great. Now, human people will probably be getting a bit up in arms now. I don't play with swords. I don't play. It's very serious. We do this all very proper. Bollocks. We're all playing with swords and we're all trying to have fun. The fact is, some of us like to wear historical fencing clothes and do this in a gym or a salon and we train in a very authentic manner. Some people like to do it in ruined castles wearing doublet and hose. Some people like to play with swords in the woods while dressed as a goblin. It doesn't matter. The fact is that we're all playing with swords. We're all related. And one of the things I think is that by being so against live action role play, Historical European martial arts instructors are cutting themselves off from a very valuable part of the community. Now, in, in my group in Guildford, I've got a number of people that actively participate in live action role play, and some of them are very, very good with a sword. Um, there's a chap I know, he's a, he's a lovely guy, he's a sword. When he comes to big events, uh, he, he takes part in HEMA tournaments, and he does very well indeed, and he's effectively a self taught. LARP Swordsman. Uh, a few years ago I reached the final of a tournament at Fight Camp and I was beaten in the final by him. Beaten quite conclusively. He's very, very good. And it's down to LARP. So, here's the thing. I think that if you're into live action roleplay then you should be looking at HEMA. And I think if you're teaching HEMA you should be looking at live action roleplay because we do these things in different ways. In HEMA, we look at the principles of the fight and we look at how we can increase our skill levels following historical sources and systems. In live action role play, you pick up a sword and you have fun and you fight. And you do that again and again and again and again over the course of an event. And that's brilliant. And I suspect that you probably have more fun doing it than we do. But if we combine those, if you as a HEMA instructor actively encourage LARP fighters into your group, you will all get better at fighting because these guys can fight. They might not be able to fight the way you want them to, but they understand fighting. And if you're a LARP fighter and you come along to historical European martial arts, then you will only get better. If you can pick up the biomechanical principles of the art, then you will become a much more successful fighter. Let me read you something. I'm just going to grab my phone. One of the chaps in my group who, who's a very active uh, LARP fighter, um, he subscribed to my uh, online Backsword uh, course, uh, Backsword.org, and he, he told me something. He said he'd had a really good event, and I asked him to maybe write it down as a little testimonial and send it across to me, and I'd like to read you what he said. Having trained with Oz and subscribed to his backsword course, I was able to put my training to the test as I spent the weekend fighting demons and knights at a LARP event. 
Over the course of the weekend, using the skills and techniques I learned from Oz, I was consistently able to hold my own in battle. A very pleasing situation, combining both techniques and a greater situational awareness. Well, that sounds pretty good, yeah, good, okay, I'd be happy with that. But it goes on. I was only overwhelmed when outnumbered five to one or more. Now, let's think about that, five to one. That's outrageous. If somebody who, okay, is a pretty natural swordsman and has a lot of experience in LARP, but applies the principles of HEMA to what they do, and they can suddenly hold their own against four different swordsmen at the same time, that's something a bit special. Uh, all when spells or other effects prevented me from defending myself. Obviously in live action roleplay it's not just about the fighting, there are other things going on. There are, there's magic that has to be taken into account and so on and so forth. But that's okay. Uh, extremely pleased with my progress and the course, 10 out of 10. You know, I, you can't argue with that. But the fact is that because he's taken the principles of HEMA that he's learned from me, the English Elizabethan backsword system, and he's taken it out there and he's used it in practice again and again and again. He's actually getting better at HEMA much faster than the guys that just train HEMA. So if you're into HEMA, don't write off LARP. Have a look at it. You might be surprised. And if you're a LARP fighter, find your local HEMA club. Give it a bash. If you can't find your local HEMA club, go over to backsword.org. There's some stuff online that you can use. Some of it's completely free. Check it out. You'll really enjoy it. But more importantly, you'll become a better swordsman. We can all work together and we can all be better at fighting. Anyway, rant over. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.